real lives and real testimonies to bring inspiration and hope to the world. There's so much more to the Christian life than just being married. There's not an official age when I decided to be a virgin. We're talking about biblical manhood plus fighting temptation. Welcome to Crystal's Corner. Hey guys, and welcome to Crystal's Corner. I am your host, Crystal OG, and today we have Pastor Kells Johnson on the show. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? So the purpose of Crystal's Quarter is to highlight Christian millennials who are living boldly for God. Kells is a youth pastor at Higher Dimensions Church. He is passionate about creatively presenting the gospel to our generation, so I am so excited to have him on the show. Yes, I'm excited to be and here. And he also has a gorgeous wife, y'all, so check him <laughs> out and check her out because y'all, look, she's gorgeous, I'm not lying, Holy, okay? All right. I agree. I, I agree. agree. You, you, you should agree. I do. She'll fire you up. She will. She will. It'll be bad, but yeah. I agree. Yeah. All right. So today we're going to be talking about boring Christianity. Oftentimes people think that Christianity is just this thing that's just not really fun. And today we want to talk about ways in which you can make it fun and ways in which you can glorify God with your life and still have a fulfilling life. Mm -hmm. So today I'm excited to have him here to discuss this today. I am excited to be here. Thank, Thank you, you for even reaching out to me. You of know, course. I, I, listen, I tend to just stay in my lane, but when 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 people call, I, I run because I just love sharing the gospel yeah. and sharing um, just this amazing God that mm -hmm. I serve. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So tell us a little bit more about your life and your journey to Christ. Oh man, my life and journey, uh, I'm what they call born on the second pew. I mean, I've been in church all my life. Huh. I've been in church all my life. I come from a line of pastors and mm. preachers and evangelists and musicians and singers. Like, I, it's just what I mm -hmm. do. Some people like to go to the club. <laughs> Some people like to travel. I like to go to church. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just been me who I am. Like, I was the guy in school that would go to school with suits on. Like, I was, wow. that, I was that guy. You were that guy. That guy. That guy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, all my pictures, like, I have suits on. Like, it's, like, it's, it's bad. Um, so it's, it's just kind of been this progressing thing. But even with being in church, it, it hasn't been perfect. Like, mm -hmm. I've had my failures. I've had my shortcomings and my fallings. And, mm -hmm. and God, if some of the stuff that I've done been telegraphed on the screen, I'd be like, why is this guy youth pastor? Mm -hmm. Like, what? How can he tell them anything? But it's... It's just in that that makes me so passionate about what I do and passionate about being who I am mm -hmm. um, just because of the grace and the love of God that, yeah. you know, he's just kept me this far. Yeah. That's awesome. And that's pretty much the story of all of us. Yeah. You know, all of us who went from, you know, sin to wholeness in Christ. Like, mm -hmm. God doesn't choose perfect people, you no, know? No. He chooses people he can use to show his strength through. And I think that's beautiful. That's exactly. a part of your story, you exactly. know? I wasn't perfect, but God still saw me fit to use me. Exactly. And that's that's all a part of the this this gift that God gives us, you yes. know? Of this, We don't deserve it, but yet he still sees us fit to carry out that calling. So that's Definitely. amazing. Definitely. So let's talk a little bit more about um, how Christians can walk in a glorifying, God-glorifying life and still have fun doing it. You mentioned in your vision statement about how you want to show people how you can still have fun and be a Christian. I noticed that you're a musician, mm -hmm. you're a blogger, mm -hmm. you're a YouTuber, you're mm -hmm. so many things. Uh -huh. I know you're having fun doing it. Oh my God, it's fun. Yeah. I, I think where, where we have gotten or where we have been taught wrong is that we had to extract Christ mm -hmm. from what we do. Yeah. When the reality is, is Christ should be involved in everything that we do. I agree. Anything that we, if you're a doctor, Christ should be involved in it. If you're a lawyer, Christ should be involved in it. And I think, and I think that makes it much more fun mm -hmm. because you take off the box of what you think Christianity is and you really mm -hmm. focus on who God is. God wants to be involved in a part of everything. Yeah. Um, I think it was Pastor Jeremy Foster that said a quote one time. He said, if you put God in anything, he'll change everything. Huh? And I took Good. that to heart, like, put God in it. Like, yeah. stop trying to separate him. And so, with blogging, with my love for fashion, my love for music, my love for culture, I just put God in it. Yeah. Like, I don't extract him like, oh God, mm -hmm. you know, you're too holy to be here. No, let God infiltrate yeah. this space. And it's like, once you do that, it just opens up a new world mm -hmm. of things. So, for me personally, I'm just like, I'm a Christian and I do it all. Yeah. 
That's awesome. And I think a lot of times um, creatives or artists think that they can't do something because maybe it's not the, the status quo of a Christian. Mm -hmm. But honestly, like he just said, once God is involved, once he's in the center, honestly, it changes everything. God, Christ, saturates what you do, whatever you do. So as a Christian, I know a lot of people struggle with that mindset. Like, if you become a Christian, it's going to be so boring. Or as a Christian, you feel like you have to live in this box. I think the, the error with that is, is people started focusing more on being a Christian mm -hmm. than focusing on being Christ-like. That's good. Two different things. Mm -hmm. Christianity, you're supposed to be Christ-like, mm -hmm. but have you actually studied what Christ did? Yeah. Because if you did, you would understand, and this is a philosophy that I live by, uh, two simple things, pursue Christ mm -hmm. and engage culture. If you know That's anything good. about Christ, Christ came to engage mm -hmm. the culture. That's why he could answer the Pharisees so well, mm -hmm. because he knew the culture. Mm -hmm. He was mm -hmm. with the people. He understood what was going on at that time. And I think where the churches went wrong is we stopped engaging culture because we deemed it sinful. We, think mm -hmm. that we deemed it dirty. We deemed it, oh, don't touch the unclean thing. Christ did that and more. <laughs> yeah. Christ hung out. Christ, his inner circle was some of the craziest people that you would ever want to meet. Yeah. The people that he hung out with on a daily basis were some of the craziest people that you want to meet. And he used those people to turn the world upside true. down. True. The disciples, he sure did. The, he used the disciples sure to turn the world upside yeah. down. Yeah. And so for me, it's like, I'm not so focused on the label Christian mm -hmm. that I'm not being like Christ. Yeah. And so if I'm being like Christ, then I need to be in these other spheres and other worlds mm -hmm. doing things not so not so that that I can just be like, oh, I'm doing this for myself. No, it's to be a light in a dark yeah. place. Yeah. The only way you combat darkness is with lightness. Mm -hmm. If light isn't there, it's just, it'll just be dark. Yeah, that's period. good. That's really good. So let me ask you. Mm -hmm. So in these places, like when you are engaging culture, um, a lot of times it can be easy to become influenced or to maybe become distracted. Mm -hmm. How do you stay focused in those environments? I'm set on who I am. That's good. No, nobody can tell me who I am and who I'm not. Mm -hmm. My my foundation is found in Christ. So if he's the foundation of everything, and I know it's Christ that changed me, how am I going to let somebody else influence me? That's then that means that their influence will be more than Christ's influence mm -hmm. in my life. So that's, that's how you have to go into a situation. You have to say, listen, God is my foundation. God is who I serve. God is who I love. Christ is the one who, like, he, he's, he governs all of my activities yeah. and my rules. So, if that's the case, then, then I'm good. Yeah. I'm yeah. good. That's, that's really good. I was like, wow, that got me. <laughs> that was a really good answer. <laughs> that's awesome. So, is there anything else you'd like to share about, you know, just your walk in general? Possibly how you've been able to, um, you know, create what you're doing, all the opportunities that you've been given. How have you um, used that to glorify God? Maybe how have you fallen short in some areas, if you'd like to share about that too. Um, so for me, I've just, I'm just really sold out on, on Christ. I mean, it, it, it's not that much more complicated than that for me. It, because if, if Christ is your Lord, Christ is your God, you know, it's, it, it, the walk tends to get a little bit easier. Um, I don't think as Christians we should be struggling with the same thing year in and year out. Mm -hmm. um, just because I don't like to plateau. Mm -hmm. I don't like to ever feel like I've made it. Like, I don't like to ever feel like yeah. I've accomplished something. Like I'm, all, I'm always running after mm -hmm. God. Like, God, That's what good. do you have next for me? What do you want from me? How can I do better? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm oftentimes just reflecting mm -hmm. on the year or the month previously. And I'm just like, how can I do better this year? Mm -hmm. What can I do? Because the only person I'm in competition with is myself. Yeah, that's good. I'm not in competition with anybody else. I'm in competition with me, and I feel like I'm trying to be all that God has called me to be, mm -hmm. so I don't have time to focus on a lot of other stuff. I'm so focused on what that's God good. wants me to do, um, and it, it it kind of just minimizes everything mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like a, a microscope. It's not like you're making something bigger, mm -hmm. but it's the fact that you're just focusing in on this one mm -hmm. thing. And everything else all of a sudden disappears. Yeah. And so if you focus in on Christ, suddenly all your all all the other stuff disappears. Mm -hmm. Not that it's not there. Yeah. It's just that Christ is the focus. Nothing can hinder me. Nothing can stop me because I'm just so focused on Christ. Um, and and if anything does stop me, that's why He offers grace. Yeah. That's why He offers a way out. He's the way 
of escape. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, God, I messed up, but you're my hiding place. Yeah. Let me let me let me come back to you and get it together. So I think it's really just the fact of Christ being the source, mm -hmm. yeah. the source of everything. I feel like we we live this principle out even through our phones mm -hmm. like whenever they're dying the first thing we do is run to a power source it's good first thing we do is run to a power source that's really good it's like our lives when we're dying when we feel ourselves becoming depleted overwhelmed we're just running on e you've got to run back to the power source yeah. you've got to run back to the power source and so I, that for me that's just that's just how I how I make it through. I, I depend mm -hmm. on the power source. There's nothing else. Yeah. Like if if he leaves, I would die. I would yeah. just feel like I don't know what else to do. Like it's so funny to the fact like I wouldn't even be able to to get a real job now mm -hmm. because I've been like in the trenches of church mm -hmm. for so long. Mm -hmm. So like they'd be like, well, "What was your last job?" I'm oh, a youth pastor. What? How does that fit into what we're doing? I, I don't know. Yeah. So, like, God literally has to provide for me now mm -hmm. in a way that, you know, I'm just doing his will because he's my source. Yeah. Nobody else can do that for me. Yeah. And that's good. I think that, that what you said before about, you know, continuing to push towards Christ and continuing to not want to remain on the same level is important as a Christian because oftentimes... We do get bored in our seasons, you know? Mm -hmm. We're going through the same cycle. We can almost always, almost actually fall into the cycle of, you know, um, church Christians. Yep. Like the pattern. We're so used to, you yep. know, come to church. I know all the praise and worship songs. I know all the Christian words. Mm -hmm. I, I speak Christianese, mm -hmm. you know? So it's become so easy. And that's where we can slide into born Christianity. We can slide into... Christianity that just be seen, becomes dull, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that like he said just not remaining complacent Continuing to push towards Christ continue to you know fight for a new level and fight for um, The new things that God has for you in your life I think that's so important mm -hmm. in keeping your relationship with God fresh, you know yes. um, If you're doing the same thing every single day all the time It's gonna get boring if you're not if your heart isn't fully in it it's gonna get boring. Exactly. You know, exactly. you can't you can't be half a youth pastor. Like you can't no. half love the kids you no. you lead. You know no. that would that wouldn't work. It I mean, wouldn't work. You, I can't be half a husband. You can't be half a husband. Like I, it, 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 if you fall into the trap of the mundane, it does get boring. Yeah. It does. And as a creative, I know that mm -hmm. things can get boring to me real quick. So I have to find ways. And and it's not really like finding. You're talking about God, the yeah. creator of the universe, who knows everything mm -hmm. about everything. Why aren't we talking to him more? Yeah. Like, God, what do you want to show me today? Show me something new. Show me something mm -hmm. fresh. Deal with me in a different kind of way. And he does. Yeah. I think the issue is, is we don't ask for that. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture says. You have not because you ask. Awesome. A lot of people are just talking about, oh, I, I, God, I, I don't have money to pay my bills because I didn't ask you. No, you don't have good money management skills. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Ask God for like uncommon things. I'm sure God is bored. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about that? Like God is actually mm -hmm. bored because there was a time when he was like performing miracles, yeah. walking on water, like bringing limbs back together. And now we're just praying about bills. Yeah. How bored must God be? Like, when yeah. will we get back to the point to where we're like seeking God for like supernatural things? Yeah. Like, God, I want to see something crazy off the wall. Mm -hmm. Like, because we live in such a world that doesn't believe mm -hmm. because Hollywood has desaturated the power of God yeah. and his authenticity. And so it's like, for me, that's what that's what keeps me excited because I'm like, God, I want to see some of the stuff that you did in the Bible. Yeah. Amaze me with some of that stuff. Like, because I'm going to use that <laughs> to draw other people. Yeah. Not that you have to win me over. I'm one. Mm -hmm. I want to be a reflection of your power in the earth for other people mm -hmm. that don't even know all of the skeptics, all of the people who mm -hmm. think it's energy and vibes and all that other stuff. Show them that you're the source. Yeah. Show them that you're the reason. Like So that for me, that's what it is. I'm always on that hunt for like, God, what you doing next? Mm -hmm. Where we at? Where we going? What's happening? Yeah. Like I'm like a child. When it comes to God. And and that's what we're meant to be like, childlike faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, childlike expecting faith. God to provide above what we expect, you mm -hmm. know? And that's 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 why we have that childlike faith. If we're thinking little because we don't believe that God can do it, 
it's like, like you said, you know, God is bored. Like, when are you going to ask me to, you know, heal this person of a terminal illness? When are you going to mm-hmm. ask me to change the trajectory of your life? Like, there are huge prayers that I feel like we're being limited by our own fear and by, mm-hmm. like you said, living in this average place of um, the world doesn't believe, so why should I fully believe? But no, we have to get back to believing. We have to get back to growing, to fighting for growth, to shaking ourselves up and our hearts up and wanting to be more on fire for God. And that's when Christianity doesn't have to be boring. Mm-hmm. That's when you will live a life that just flows out of the joy you find in Christianity. So today, maybe you may feel like, you know, yeah, like I feel like this is so boring and I don't know what to do you know um, I really pray that Pastor Kels and I have at least given you some things to think about yeah. and I pray that these things will also you know um, spark your interest in a new relationship with Christ maybe a more on fire passion for Christ mm-hmm. maybe to even start a relationship with Christ mm-hmm. so we were just so glad that we were able to talk about this today with you guys um, thank you so much Pastor Kels for yeah. being here today yeah, really. thank I, you for I really enjoyed your company. You I, you really were on here spitting, spitting <laughs> flames, spitting bars, spit, spitting Christian bars. You were really on here spitting Christian bars. So I'm grateful for you being well, on the show. Um, so I'm much. going to link all of his information in my description bar below, his yes. YouTube channel, his page, yes. his website, and you guys can just find him there. Yes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you are new to this channel, subscribe and look forward to more Crystal's Corner talk show episodes because I am so excited for season two and I hope you guys are too. Yes. Bye. Bye. Woo!